بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا مولانا محمد سيد الأولين والآخرين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم صلي وسلم وبارك على حبيبك ورسولك سيدنا محمد صلاة ترضيك وترضيه وترضى بها عنا مولانا رب العالمين رب الشحل صدري ويسل لي أمري وحد العقلة من لسان يفقه قولي الحمد لله وذل الله سبحانه وتعالى سبحانه وتعالى Inshallah, we are blessed to be together to continue the teaching in the book of Sayyid al-Imam al-Rabbani, Muhyiddin Abdul Qadir al-Jalani, Qadr sallallahu sallahu al-Aziz, the sublime revelation, Fatih al-Rabbani. <coughs> May Allah grant us the barakah of his ilm and his ikhlas, and may he subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us as he blessed him to be among al-muttaqeen al-salihin. Amin ya rabbal alameen. And we are still within the 38th discourse. Uh, and inshallah, my son Abdul Qadir will read this evening's uh, chapter. It is related that the children of Israel were afflicted by a calamity. Mm -hmm. So they went together to meet one of their prophets and said to him, Tell us how to win the good pleasure of the Lord of Truth. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, so that we may follow it through as a means by which to rid ourselves of this calamity. So he asked the Lord of the Truth, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, about this, and Allah told him by inspiration, Say to them, If you wish for my good pleasure, you must please the needy. For if you please them, I shall be well pleased. And if you displease them, I shall be displeased. Take heed, O intelligent ones. You are always displeasing the needy, yet you wish for the good pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Far from obtaining his good pleasure, you will live and move in his displeasure. You must be steadfast despite the harshness of my speech, then you may succeed. Steadfastness is a growing plant. I would never run away from the coarseness and harshness of the sheikhs. No. Uh, very nice story and it looks like related to our current situation we are passing in the world. At that time, Bani Israel were affected uh, with trial, the calamities, with musiba, and they went to their prophets, say, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us to do something in order for us to, you know, uh, overcome this musibah. So he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said, if you want me to remove this calamity from you, you have to please the needy, al-masakin. If you please them, I am pleased. And if you displease them, I am angry. Now, Al-Fuqara, part of our deen, part of our uh, religion is a zakah. This is must. And as sadaqat which is encouraged to do. Therefore, when you want to do something to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to reach to something you want, there are many ways to do that. Among them is you pray, you fast. But if you give fi sabil Allah, you know, Al-Quran specifically mentioned that he said, yani salat lillah to Allah. Fasting to Allah, you know, subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are. Al-infaq, he said, Man dha alladhi yuqridu allaha qardhan hasanan fayudha'ifahu lahu wa lahu ajur kareem. Who is the one who is going to give me a loan? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. And I will double it to him, the payment here, many times, 
and plus a generous reward, Ajr Karim. What message is this? And you want me to be happy? Give fi sabilillah, and you see how much I'm going to give you. Looks like our problem is because we, the poverty in the world is increasing. It's half reached, not the red line, is have already long time past the red line. So there are many people have no food. And you can see always WHO, uh, no, I mean, United Nations say it's very dangerous, it's like that. There are people getting very rich and they get people getting very poor. Wars, natural disasters, economy, this, that. And unfortunately, all the countries whom they have problem in economies, they have big population. And you eat, we eat all types of food every day. And those people, if they eat one day food, that will be for them like something, you know. If you eat twice a day, it is great. And the meat only once a year. Meat once a year. And if you compare their life to our life, you will understand how, how happy we are in the barakah we got, but how unhappy we are with our unsatisfaction. Nothing satisfies us. You open the fridge and you see inside the fridge things you need and things you didn't need. The many things, many times, things in the fridge expired and we threw it. Because we bought them with nothing need for them. Al Masakin, when you give them clothes or food or money, we give them our used clothes. Food, the balance of our, of our food. And the money, we we'll give them small notes and the old one. We do that or not? When we give al miskin, and we're talking about countries where there's miskin, you sell them. You find someone give to fakir or someone ten dollars, where he there may be rupees or dirhams or I don't know what. That's nothing. And I told you before, I asked someone who, I say in his. In the cars, if I mock most of us, in the cars, we put coins or small notes. Say, what is this for? He said, for the beggars. For the very, you know, nothing. Haji, do you think Al-Mashakin happy with this? They are not happy. So you're expecting Allah to be happy with that. It's not how you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see, I pray, I do this. But Allah never answered my prayer. Who said Allah never answered your prayer because of you know, not praying five times? There is something here very important, brothers and sisters. You have to understand it very carefully. There is some, something called a deen, religion, and there is something called tadayun, a religious person. A religious person, he's the one who is he? He's the one who pray five times. He's the one who uh, uh, go to Hajj, he go Umrah, he fast Ramadan. This is uh, Tadayun. How you know he say he's a religious man? How you know? Because he pray five times as masjid. Or he pray, he gives a cut like this, or he go to Hajj every year. So he say he's a religious man. Or he dress or he wear the cap, or or how that's how we we judge the people that he is a religious mutadayin we call, but a deen is different story. Al Islam is not minimized in only five time prayers, which is that something between him and Allah only. Al Islam is big. Akhlaq, moral character, infaq, family and children. Parents and children, Salatul Rahim. This Islam big. Stories, read, read very carefully. What uh, uh, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam said, the first words came up from his mouth one day his age. Huh? Qala inni Abdullah. Atani al-Kitab. He make me prophet. 
وجعلني نبيا and then what see after that he said وبرم بوالدتي and a very good in my behavior towards my mother that is deen you talk about deen now this is the instruction of deen وبرم بوالديه سيدنا يحيى ووصينا الإنسان بوالديه we advised and commanded the the person to look after his parents the other hand ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة عجلنا المتقين إمام الله make us a good example for the believers ومتقين this is deen this is all deen this is not tadayun we want to see deen not tadayun only that's how the things works. So now when you say, uh, I pray on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have problems in you know, this coronavirus, and I don't know what else. Why that's happened? Because we misunderstood the meaning of, you know, how to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everyone said, oh, is the whole world suffering? Oh, suffering, if everyone think of solving his mistake, erasing his ma'asiyah, disobedient to Allah, the Rabbani vaccine will come very fast. Amen. Rabbani. And that Rabbani have shifa 100%. Don't, side effect will be great. This is normally side effect, you have fever, you have. Side effect here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, yudha'ifuhu lahu, I will double the reward for him. I, I will, you know, you know, that's, that's uh, the vaccine. Side effect, and he will get an extra generous reward from me. That's the side effect. Nothing to be worried about. But who will going to do that? Question. Yani, it's, wallahi, it's tawfiq min Allah. At Tawfiq, you know, the top, the triumph, the top of success, we call Tawfiq. That's why in Quran, Tawfiq, this word, we uh, uh, narrated one time only. Wama Tawfiqi illa billah. He said, this is Tawfiq min Allah. And because of Allah, it's happened. Yani if someone, you see, he sponsored orphans. In, in, in somewhere in African countries or any other countries in the world. He sponsored them. Schooling, eat, food, this one. How is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going to reward him, to reward him? Each of us can do that. Each of us can do that. How much you need to pay? Who say you need to pay thousands? For you, if you reserve hundred dollars, maybe or fifty dollars, or fifty ringgit, or rupees, or whatever, you see how much we're going to get. Now take it in this way: a zakat. We talk about Muslims. In our deen, zakat is must, fard, obligatory. صح ولا لا؟ طيب. One point five billion Muslims. How many they have to pay zakat? How many of them? Let's say half billion. Let's say one billion no need to pay. Mustahaqeen. They are receivers. And half billion, they are the givers. Okay? Half billion, which is 500 million. Right? If each of them give a year, hundred dollars, a year, how much? Half billion multiplied by Five uh, by uh, one hundred dollars multiply by half billion. How much? How much? Huh? It's a big amount. How much is it? Your your phone is not for not here. <laughs> for small numbers, Haji. Fifty billion? Yeah, Kareem. Hundred dollars a year if you if the rich people pay only hundred dollars, huh? Which is impossible. You have to pay, of course, more. But the, okay, not fifty. Twenty-five dollars a year if you pay. 
How much? Huh? 12, uh, 12, let's say 10 billions. Ya Allah. 10 billion zakat. If it's really paid, $25, you think there will be any fakir and miskin? You think there will be any place where there's no water, drinking water? You think we will need to beg the people, please help this people? Huh? Then that is zakat. How about sadaqat? The whole year, non-stop. If we, each of us, had the ability to do so, to give $25 a month out of his salary, from his salary, just do it. Can do it, of course. Then how much we get? And where to the, there are many places we can. Now who's the one who's helping the needy people in the world? Those whom they have misfortune in everywhere in the world. The Muslims, especially, whom they are in trouble. Who's helping them? Non-Muslims. They go everywhere. They go. They have charities. Where is our Quran? Where is our verses? Where is the ajr? Where is the seekers of reward? Where is the seekers of Yawm Al-Qiyamah? Where is, where is? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stop us from going to Masjid. Stop us from going to Baytullah Al-Haram. Only limited now. But did he stop us from giving infaq fi sabilillah? Or sadaqat? Did he stop us from pleasing the needy and poor? No. Why? This is how. This is how we can do it, you know. You have to have, any, you know, we, this something uh, we could, transferable. And if you do that in your house, it will be with, also your children will do the same. You remember those days, all of us have a box, saving box. Our parents, they bring that saving box for us to put, for us, you know. To, but if you put in the house, saving box is for charity. And you know, every, if your children, okay, this coins, uh, and then after that, choose somewhere else, you know, anywhere in the world. And then see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you barakah. That's why Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qajilan said, I have find, I've searched of all the good deeds in this world, I find nothing better than feeding the needy. How many people eat every day? How many people? How many people? If you receive a check in your, if you are a, you know, you have business and you receive a check that day or project or business and they said, okay, your profit is $25,000 for two days work. How much happy you'll be? Oh, all of a sudden, after you save $25,000, Someone came and said, okay, we have this hospital for children or for, you know, and they need $2,500. Now the question is said, now when you're listening to this lecture, you say, Wallahi, I will give. Later on, we'll see. When you receive that, and you say, when the things come, can I ask my friend also to join me in this one? you kicking the reward here now. If you're able to give, give now. And you have any problem with your life, please these people and see how Allah will change your situation. Try. You won't lose anything. If you do that, you receive the reward in your akhirah, that's good. And if you use reward dunya and akhirah, that's the best. Allah promised. You say, don't, don't tell Allah what, how much to give you and when to give you and what to give you. Because you will think small like that. Leave it to him, to the most generous. And he will give you with something which you know you never imagine. Tell you about the story about someone in Jordan. I mentioned this. Uh, sometime, someone known to us. 
he went to a doctor and they do CT scan and this and that. They said, we have a tumor in your brain and need, this one need uh, surgery. You have to open. Ya Allah. It's, you can just imagine that the doctor said to someone, may Allah protect us. Saha wal afiyah for all of us. We were listening to us now. So the doctor said, look, this operation is not easy at all because any small mistake, if you're not going to leave, you will live your life by lies. But I'm not sure what's going to happen. Maybe you lose your sight. Maybe you lose your hands. Allah Akbar. Now what he do? Doctor said, this is the top we can, you know. Now he go to Si'at Rahmatillah. Allah push it to him. How? Oh. Allah give him something. He said, come after one week. We will do, you know. We give him one week. So he come. Then they admit him. And then we'll do the operation. He went back. On the way, he went to a butcher shop. So he was buying meat. He saw one lady came with three kids. She was bargaining with the butcher to buy the bones. Those days, the bones, the fruit. And you know, nowadays they sell it. When they sell the bones nowadays. But when they discover the needy, the you know, poor masakin, they put at least two, they say, oh, we have to sell to them now. Allah, we are creative, but uh, creative, but in a backward way, you know, <laughs> not forward. Then he say, Ummi, mother, why are you not buying the she said, no, I, the these are the my sons, my late son uh, children. He passed away, you know. So the mother working, and I got enough that money. Cool, this, that, clothing. So we enable to buy meat, meat expensive. So I buy bones. He said, give her two kg now. And every week, two kgs on my account. And this is for two months. He was not, you know, aware of this. He doesn't know that someone will, that thing will happen. No, nobody told him. But of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, al-khabir, al-alim, knows about him. He wants to save him. He went back home. The mother, the, for that lady, when he gave that, she said, Ya Allah, Jazakallah khair. May Allah bless you with long life, good health, saha wal afiyah. That's what he wants. He doesn't know she will meet someone. And she doesn't know that she's going to pray for him. Uh, the whole story organized. Taqdeer. Allah said, Inna kulla shayin khalaqnahu bi qadar. There's a reason for everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and destiny for. So he went back and then one week, he did the wasiyah, everything, the will that is. Of course, he doesn't know. After one week, went to the hospital, did that. And they do that again, the things. The doctor said, I don't know what to say to you. He said, what did you say to me? So look, if I'm not the one who did the CT scan for you on the checkup, I will say you are a different person. But you have no sickness at all. You have no tumor. But he cannot even have this. Then he said, you, what you did in this few days? You, yeah, doctor, this one needs surgery. Impossible. He said, I met better doctor. The cost is two kg of meat, that's it. <laughs> but if you go for surgery, how much that surgery will cost? Huh? Ya akhi, pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by choosing the right. You see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about the story of Sayyidina Ali and Sayyidina Fatima. Three days, baqir, mit'umulu, innama, yani, miskina, wa yatima, wa asira, wa yit'umuna ta'ama. They feed for the sake of Allah, ala hubbihi, for the sake of the love of Allah, 
مسكينا ويتيما واسيرا في ستري هوبلس مسكين نو وير تو جو يتيم نو وير تو جو نو بيرنتس ا كابتيف جاست ليز وير تو جو سو هي ذيك ثري دي ذي كيم تو ذا هاوس اوف سيدنا علي فاطمه ذي ار ماني هاوسز ان مدينه فالله سبحانه وتعالى تشوز ذات هاوس تو جو تو ذيس هاوس كان جو اني هاوس اند اول اوف ذيم جينيروس بس الله ويل تو جيف ذا ريوارد تو ذيس بيبل ناو ذات ات go three days what they want is say they give them what they give them they didn't give buryani and mandi and this thing they give them what bread and that bread is what that the bali and you know who was the one if you see the way they cook it very hard and in, in, in the in the maybe those that they go to army or national service they made something like that bread none you know After five minutes, if you throw it on the wall, it will break the wall, maybe. <laughs> It's too hard. You read lion's stomach, in fact, not <laughs> human beings. Anyway. So, three days, they give just simple, nothing. Because Allah doesn't look to the food. Allah took to the heart who give that food. Three days, subhanallah. What they said to him, and what they said is, "Inna ma nutaimukum li wajilla." First of all, we food you for the sake of Allah. La nuridu min kum jazaan wa la shukura. In return, we need nothing from you, and don't say thank you, please. Wa la shukura, nothing. Inna ma albaan. What the Inna na khafu min Rabbina yawman abusan qab qab tarina. Our weariness is the last, the next day, yom al qiyamah. Huh? Why they said Yawm Al-Qiyamah? Because Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Yawm Al-Qiyamah, he said Everyone will walk in the shade of his sadaqah Yawm Al-Qiyamah You have, the sadaqah is a shade From that day, the ho, the ho, ho, ho huh? Everyone, his sadaqat How much you give? Sadaqah, someone have umbrella, someone, someone Maybe you cover everything But what what they call these people who they give always al muhsinin. Al muhsin come from al ihsan. What is al ihsan? To worship Allah as look as you are looking to Him, or to have that feeling of He is looking to you. That is al ihsan. So Allah called these people al muhsinin. They were inna matrimikum li wajhillah. What is the return? Say just that day. فوقاهم الله شر ذلك اليوم. Allah protect them from the evil of that day. Nothing. وَلَقَاهُمْ نَظْرَةً وَسُرُورًا And he will receive them in the best way. The best way. Pleasing way. وَجَزَاهُمْ بِمَا صَبَرُوا جَنَّةً وَحَرْئُهُ If you go to Surah Al-Insan, Surah what? Surah Al-Insan, read it. Read, read, read. Read what Allah, you see, read the story and read the reward. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Because of giving fee sabir Allah. They be chosen. Therefore, Sayyidina Shah Abdul Qajil also said, he said, when a miskin come to you, you have to be very happy because he's Allah's gift to you. You have any problem in your life, Allah has sent you the solution, the key. The key. Help this person and see how Allah will reward you. Therefore, al-ulama was salihin there. When a miskin come to them, he say, who am I? That Allah sent to me his gift. Allah sent me al-faqir to take from me. I am not a, I am not a min al-salihin. I am not a muhsin. But Allah still, you know, he sent that al-faqir to me. Naam? So Sayyidina Shah is saying, he's, he's Allah, his gift. This is a gift from Allah to you. Don't reject it. And when you give him, when you give him, Say to him, thank you for accepting. Zakallah khaw for accepting my, my hadiyah, my. You have to, the way you see when al when al miskin you take from you, Zakallah khair, sir. Wow, shukriya, wallahi, terima kasih, zak. But you say no, you do the opposite. You say Zakallah khair for us. Wallahi, I'm I'm very happy. May Allah bless you. You have you made me happy today by accept accepting. Why? He said because the minute you give it to him, you give him sadaqah fi sabilillah. As we said before. You're fixing for him 
something of his life, problem of his life. But when he accepts from you, he's fixing for you something for your akhirah, in your akhirah. إِنَّمَا نُطْعِمُكُمْ إِيش لِوَجْهِ اللَّهِ Ya akhi, when you say لِوَجْهِ اللَّهِ That itself, ufu, yani, you cannot imagine how great is this thing. Therefore, these are the key of the happiness, of the clearness of any calamities, any problems, any disasters in this world. Give, unless we wake up, this is a wake up call. You, know, you pray tahajjud, you pray you do zakat, I mean, you do uh, uh, fasting, that's good. But where is al-fakasi? Where is, where is the hand? Where is the hand that we choose to, to give? When Sayyidina Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, that day, one sheep, lamb, full lamb, he, mm -hmm, he distributed the whole thing, and he kept one arm. The whole thing gone. Umm al Mu'mineen, the mother of believers, one of them can say, hey, where is the sheep? All the sheep gone, only this remain. He said, no, all remain, and only this going to go. Because it, Allah will, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will save it. Uh, it's not something. And Sayyidina Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his moral character of the Quran, when he sees all these qualities, he's not in need, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to do all of these things. But he was the top of Sahaba. When he used to walk with Sahaba, Radiallahu Anhum Mardahum, the maskeen will come to him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He won't go here and there. Now, would Sheikh nowadays, the maskeen will go to him? Which? You know, no need. Because they know the, the problem. <laughs> you know what they said? Someone was in the drawing almost in the, in the water. And the man was saying to him, say, give me your hand, give me your hand. He never gave his hand. A man came to him and he saw, oh, you know, this one, a uh, misery guy, he's a stingy guy, Bakhil. He said, take my hand. <laughs> he said, he's, a, he's never used to give, he only take. <laughs> so he doesn't know this, <laughs> what you're saying. <laughs> May Allah enlighten our hearts and open the basira of our hearts to understand these meanings. Read. I would never run away from the coarseness and harshness of the sheikhs. I just held my tongue and shut my eyes. As blasts from them descended on me, I would just keep quiet. As for you, you cannot endure what they have to say, yet you wish to succeed. No, of course not. Mm -hmm. You will not succeed until you conform to the decree of destiny for you and against you. You must keep company with the sheikhs while discarding speculations about your fortune and fate, and you must follow them and remain in harmony with them under all circumstances, then success will come to you in this world and the hereafter. Understand what I am saying and put it into practice. Yes, we have to understand. Ayo, ayo. Understanding without practice does not amount to anything. No. Practice without sincerity is empty ambition. All the letters in the word as written in the Arabic script are empty and hollow. There is nothing inside them. No. The general public okay. may not recognize. Mm. You see, following, now he's talking about those whom uh, they teach their students, a shiuch, to be among those uh, quality people, to be quality people. Kareem, Sakhi, Jawad. Ah, this is how. Yani, ya akhi, 
I have seen ulama. I have seen ulama. When someone go to them, he say, I have problems. He say, pray this zikr, this salawat, this darud, this one. It's very important, of course. Pray tahajjud, pray salat, do this, fast. But 10% of them will say, give sadaqah to us. Go and search of masakin among your relatives, salatul rahim. Go and please them. Someone need operation. He doesn't have money. Someone, he want to admit his son to university, his dream, but he doesn't have money. Help these people. Wallahi, they taught us. They taught us. It's very simple. He said, when the season start, season of fruits, vegetables, anything start, the thing's a bit expensive. So, see, if you manage to buy, if Allah give you something, you buy, for example, one kg of this fruit or that, make it two kg. One kg for you and one kg for poor family. Let them eat. Let them not just look looking. That's how, subhanAllah, like this, your house won't be empty. Your fridge won't be empty. Your hearts won't be empty. Sayyidina Shaykh said, I need from you ilm wa amal. If ilm wa amal, if no ilm, no amal, there's no sincerity, no ikhlas. They have to be deen. Where is our deen? Ya Khir? Allah is ajeeb. Deen is something different. The people doesn't know that uh, uh, tadayun is bigger than how you look, what you dress, and how many rak'ah you pray. A deen is the Quran, the Kareem, the Quran. Whoever the people who follow really the, the instruction of the Quran, the Kareem, in a, in a proper way. Most of us, if Allah, if Yawm Al-Qiyamah, Allah make us stand in between his hand when it's come, he will ask us about these things. Why you did that? Why you never do this? Why you know, have you not read that in the Quran? Did not, nobody advise you that this bring my anger? What are you going to say? What are we going to say? Where are you going to look? That's Musibah. May Allah protect us. So, yani, Allah's barakah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, it's there for, for for sure. For sure the barakah is there. For sure. But who deserves it? There is someone who desire the barakah and someone who deserve the barakah in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the problem, brothers and sisters, is not in our bodies. It's in our hearts. In simple. When the heart's dead, everything is dead. The poet, there's a beautiful poet said, قَدْ مَاتَ مَحْقَوْمٌ وَمَاتَتْ شَمَائِلُهُمْ وَعَاشَ قَوْمٌ وَهُمْ بَيْنَ النَّاسِ يَحْيَاءُ We say there are people whom they passed away, but their names never passed away, never dead. But there are people whom are alive and they are considered as dead. Not useless. A billionaire, what he's doing with his billions? Nothing to do with it. But when he helped, ah, 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 different. There are some billionaires, maybe you know their names in the world. They have saved their, uh, uh, this wealth, the will, to give to charity. It's, you know, it's, it, they believe in the good deeds. We believe in the good deeds and we believe in ta'atillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is part, it's our deen. It's not we have to do this because I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good because Allah wants me to do good. The, my, my, the people, you know, they want to see these qualities in us. A Sahaba, now how many of us have Fazl Quran here? During Sahaba's time, if you compare, you do just calculation, they don't have much Sahaba, like uh, Hafaza, half is memorizing Quran, like nowadays. We have Musabaqa. There is a competition of memorizing Al Quran. He memorized six months, he memorized the Quran one year, he memorized the Quran two years. But where is the musabaq of tadabbur al Quran, understanding al Quran, practicing al Quran? Where is it? We don't have. As Sahaba, they pray taraweeh during Rasulullah's times for three days. We you pray always. Uh -huh. But they, when they pray, inna salata tanha anil fahsha wal munkar. 
they are when they talk or they say I, I, I pray I talk to with Allah I cannot use this mouth to talk with Allah and do supplication and munajat same mouth I use it in useless things also cannot be the plate you eat in it is not the same plate you put Naudullah dirt on it is another place for that may Allah protect her that's where how Allah want, Allah food for us you know there are many ways to reach to him subhanahu wa ta'ala many ways to reach to him and each of us have way for sure each of us so that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to be wants or have to have deen religion not to be religious only when I see practices the religious man and where does advice sometimes there's people they have this ability subhanallah wallahi why you dress like that why you not dress like, like a, a religious person why your beard like that why you're like this why you... he's asking us to just to the... where is the button here where is the deen where is the whole quran i want to know yani if i wear this dress it's showing i'm uh, what i'm a muslim sah? but did it show that i am contain the whole islam my dress will say that no that's cheating cannot be the deen is as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us. May Allah protect us from having sicknesses in our hearts. And may He protect us from thinking about the sicknesses of our bodies and ignore the sicknesses of our hearts. Because He's looking to that heart. And our heart have to be pure. Have to be always for in, 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 a, in a best way where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going to be happy with. The generosity comes from the hearts. Therefore, we can see that in your hands after that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us with deen wa dunya wa akhirah. May Allah keep us always in a straight path. And may He grant us that we will search of all the good deeds to practice them and that will please Him. And by pleasing Him, Inshallah, he will remove all the calamities, all the disasters, all the troubles, all the troubles from our life. And he will grant us, Inshallah, al-yusr. Inna ma al-usri yusra. Inna ma al-usri yusra. Ya ameen, ya rabbal alameen. Banatina fi dunya hasana. Fi l-akhirati hasana. Uqina adhab al-nar. Bi rahmatik ya aziz ya afar. Salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah. Bi alameen.